You know, if there's one question I get asked more than any other, more even than where did thoughts go when you forget them, it's, Mark, what are the five key elements of amazing seascape photography? Today we're going to try and answer that question. So the first key tip to amazing seascape photography is get up before dawn. Now I benefit from the wealth of my years of experience here watching hundreds of hours of YouTube videos of people parking their van in front of a mountain, getting up at four o'clock in the morning, climbing for two hours and experiencing God's majesty in a sunrise. Now, it's about 20 past eight. We're here in Dunsborough in Western Australia. Unfortunately, I woke up this morning, heard some rain, which brings me to my second tip. Brave the elements. Full disclosure, I suffer from a rare genetic disorder that makes me water soluble. I dissolve in the rain. Nevertheless, it's when you get out into the elements that's where the magic of photography happens. Today, we're going to brave the gray, dull skies of Dunsborough as we try and capture that magic. Next key tip, remember to bring the bag that actually has your cameras in it. So what I've tried to do here is capture the foreground detail going off into the distance, shooting low and wide, but also going for a little bit more of a minimalist and abstract look, um, shooting with a longer focal length around 150, 200, and just capturing details of rocks in the ocean and the horizon line. Next tip, always carry a sturdy tripod because nothing says I'm a serious photographer out to capture the spontaneous beauty of nature than lugging around a huge piece of aluminium or carbon fiber. Welcome to Meal Up Beach for the next hot tip. If you're feeling uninspired, give your shitty photo that authentic gritty film by shooting black and white film on an old SLR camera.
YouTube after all, is to offset the mediocrity of your photography with gratuitous cinematic drone B-roll. Well, the weather cleared and here I am at Eagle Bay. No tripod, can't be bothered with that kind of stuff anymore. But what I can do is take some nice abstract photos of rocks, sand and water. Another key tip for amazing seascape photography, great art comes with great risk.